changing a bench type. So my guess is this is the one that needs to be painted. 0% paint case green. Paint customizations, green, green, green. It needs to be green, don't apply on glass. Tape the glass off. And I think that side is painted. This side I'll paint it. I'm turning the nozzle all the way up. And paint the top. 82%. Oh, I suppose we gotta paint the front. Ninety-nine percent, and we're done. Eraser. We can erase paint. Cool. Done. We'll put that here, and this one bring here. Changing a bench type. This is the wrong bench for the job. Oh, of course it is. I'm gonna hate that. You're missing the wrong part. Yep. I'm really not gonna like that. Install installing a new operating system. Oh, that ain't that hard. <laughs> Excuse me. Remove the SSD. Well, I can't remove it when the stupid prompt is in the way. Because I gotta remove the cables from it. Unplug SATA and power. And you unplug that, we hit install. We install the new one. And then we connect that there. Connect all this on. Here, and then we put, oh, you want me to put the side panel back on right away? All right. I normally don't. I think I've said that for the third time. And it's installing new operating system, and we're done. New operating system installed. You have successfully replaced the broken SSD and installed a new operating system for the PC. Now the PC can be returned to the customer. Let me take that. I like the new, the new style, the new game style. I just hit accept instead of collect. But delete, delete, fix. Replace the CPU. Now, well, what kind of CPU is it? Upgrade. You want a GeForce GTX 970 or better? Well, see, that's easy because I know what to get there. This one. I think if we search 970 just to make sure that I'm getting the right one. Next day delivery. CPU. Well, what kind of CPU does that guy even have? Does it say? It just says replace CPU. My computer has been behaving very erratically for the past few weeks. 
I've had boot errors, freezing, blue screens, and other mysterious occurrences. The exorcist I called in told me that it's probably a faulty CPU and more likely to be your field than his. If this is the case, could you please replace it for me? Sure. Hopefully the holy water hasn't compounded the damage. I did leave it next to the radiator to dry. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Why did you put water in it? Why? I guess we're just gonna have to wait and see for that guy. See what kind of CPU he's got. Let's take a look. What kind of CPU do you have, buddy? A Ryzen 3 quad core. All right, now I know what kind he's got. Um, 1300X. And I can even do the same day delivery. Your new items have been delivered. Interact with the delivery boxes to collect them. Bingo. Now I can go like this. Take all this guy's thermal paste off of here again. I like that taking thermal paste off. enough and then sell that because that's broken put that there this way what was I thinking you got to put a new CPU in I don't know what I was doing I was gonna see if it booted. I didn't even pull the CPU off. I guess I just blanked and thought I replaced it. Uh, new one. There we go. What happens if I just keep applying it? Can I just add too much? There we go. You can boot to operating system. Come on, we got it in the area workshop area delivery bam now we got to fix this one a GTX 970 or better it's got a 750 Alright, time for the 970. Oh, we gotta take the extra PCIe slot out of there. And then here. There we go. Turn it on. Got it! Hey! First try. Oh, I bet we, I suppose we better put the PCI lock back on. The graphics card might shake around a little bit if we don't. And put that around the corner. 
just like that. Collect. You can now renovate the storefront, allowing you to build and sell your own PCs. Check your email for details. Sweet! Just made 800 and no, we made $555 off of that one job. You're late. You're late to the stream, bud. I already went through like most of the tutorial. This is a lot of fun. I'm pretty impressed. They they went really in depth with this game. You got to take the graphics cards apart to water cool them. You got to put a block on it. It's it's cool. I really like this. Do value potential client. We're excited to offer you a once in a lifetime opportunity to expand your working space. business horizons if you have recently come to our attention as a fast-growing local business you have an unused shop that's just begging for a little renovation for just five hundred dollars we can completely overhaul your shop front so that you can sell pcs for as well as fixing them opening up a whole new revenue stream best of all we guarantee all your work completed overnight that's right our team of hard-working engineers and overpaid consultants will work from dusk till dawn to have your new workspace ready the next Day, and they have a list of customer testimonies for $500? I mean, is it a scam? I don't want to be scammed. Yeah, let's go ahead and take that and that. Yeah, pay five. Your new storefront. Congratulations, your storefront is due to be built. Okay, so it's just part of the game. When you leave for the day, the builders are move in and have your new shop ready for tomorrow morning. Awesome, because I don't have anything else better to do making good bank and day if I come back and it's not done I'm gonna be mad got an achievement oh awesome this is awesome this is so cool Time to branch out a little and start selling your own PCs in your shop. Let's build our first PC to sell, open the tablet, and check out the new Spares and Repairs app. Cool. Yeah, this is like a, a bulk store, right? You can find broken PC parts for sale and repair them to sell them in your shop? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Wait a minute. We can actually repair broken parts now? Oh, hell yeah. Offers are updated every day, so keep an eye open for daily details in your email. Oh, heck yeah. We can just repair broken stuff. What? Man, this is a cool looking storefront. This looked like garbage earlier. This, this is awesome. I love this. And the back, I got the back all customized. So now with the when the now that I customize the back and then that there in the storefront, oh man, this looks awesome. Oh here it is. Replacing the RAM. This PC has a stick of broken RAM, so let's open the case, remove the old stick, put in a new one. Okay. That's easy. That should take like a minute. Open the clips, take that out. Install, memory, RAM. Oh look, it's fixed. That's nicer than my... Yeah, it's nicer than my shop in real life too. It's a nice shop. Most shops just have matte white paint. I got futuristic lighting and RGB LEDs all across the ceiling, so it, it looks awesome. Pick up the PC. Now let's take the PC to the shop and return it in for cash. Where? Oh, here on the display. Oh, we can display it and sell it to people. Now let's set the price. 960? What are the parts? $960? Yeah. Edit computer name. I, I don't know what to call it. Hmm. Gotta think of a name. Uh, 
I'm thinking we can sell the computer for a grand. If it'll let me set the price. Uh, sure, we'll go with that. Set the sale price over a thousand dollars. The price of the PC is automatically set to the RP because of the benchmark score and the rating of the prices and everything. The price can be edited by pricing here, but this time let's keep it as the recommended. You've earned a bonus for naming it. You can see that, okay, so it will give us extra value for customization, naming it, overclocking, custom water cooling, custom LED lighting, and it will give us bonuses for like painting the case, doing extra things, I see, sell it. Check back in the morning and see what the weather has, see whether it's been sold. Case customizations, I think they spelled that wrong. New cables, overclocking, and 3D mark score all increase the final value of a PC. You can set the price up to 50% higher than the recommended retail price, but this reduces the chance of it selling. Only 50%? You could have sold that thing for $1,200, and I guarantee you somebody would have bought it because it's got a 1060 in there. Somebody would buy it. Somebody would. I don't know who would, but somebody who's dumb enough to think that that's a good value. I, I wouldn't buy it for that much. <laughs> I'm having way too much fun with this. Paint case yellow. Yeah. I still don't understand why people... Oh, changing bench type. I still don't understand why people gotta insist on painting cases when they could just buy a case that's yellow. Is, is it cheaper to paint it? Like, think about how much time that would take. Paint it yellow. Okay. Yellow. And we can even paint the glass. Do you want the glass painted? Nope, you didn't want the glass painted. I wouldn't want the glass painted either. Done. Place in the workshop delivery area. Awesome. Now let's grab this one. I don't even know what's wrong with this one. Yeah, we'll have to see if our if that version of the case is in here. We will have to see. This is the wrong bench type for the current job. Oh, duh. I forget. You gotta switch the cases back and it's moderately annoying uh install 650 watt power supply or better okay property of edmund he just <laughs> rewrote edmund over it but do you want it oops do you want it fully modular That's the thing, like, I would request modular. I didn't even order it. I should have ordered it. Shop. Power supplies. I think this is the one he wanted. Yep, 650 watt or better. Same day delivery? We can do the same day delivery just because I want to get it done now. I should have I should have looked ahead to see what he wanted because if they tell me what they want, I'll go I'll go right out and order it in advance. 
saves you a lot of money, then you don't have to do same day delivery if they hurry up and if they want to hurry up and get it done now. Got to plug everything back in. a ton of noises I don't like hearing. Hey! Side panel. Property of Edmund. Base 4 unit number. It's got your unit number on there. That's pretty cool. Place in the delivery area. Bingo! So these should both be done. Yep, they're both done. And we can check. Email. Collect that. We can go ahead and accept all of these. We leveled up again, so we unlocked more stuff. The next milestone, level five, unlocks auto cabling tool, auto connect tool, auto screw tool, and auto standoff tool. Faster installation upgrade. We're gonna get those. Ah, had to make a run to bathroom. We all know how that feels. Inbox. Install the ultimate SU650, 960B or better. Uh, I don't know what it is. Oh, it's a, it's an SSD. Ultimate SU650. I'm guessing the 960 are better. Yep, 960 gigabytes are better. Seem to be in an upgrade. Yep. Apply stickers to case. He wants emoji stickers. Uh, shop. Cases. Case fans, cables, power supplies, storage, graphics cards, memory, motherboard, CPU, cooling. Okay. 
So I'm guessing to apply stickers, we don't need that. Shop sales. Overclocking assistant. That's awesome how they put a RAM overclocking assistant on here. Because then we can select what RAM it is. And then if we want to overclock it or underclock it to like 3600. It'll tell us. I love that. I love how that feature is there. That's awesome. And then... We can come back the next day, get all this done. You can now check your profits using the tablet and the shop sales. And in shop sales, I looked and saw this earlier. PC sale profit. This number shows how much money was made after taking away the cost to build and repair. Yep, collect the money. Check back here regularly to keep up to date with your shop sales. Because we sold it for a grand. So we got 61%. Nice. That's good profit. Let's go ahead and accept them all. Will it run? This job requires you to use the Will it run app on a U on your USB drive. You can then install it for a customer on their machine to see if their computer meets the required specification for certain software. Yep, that's what you're supposed to do. Saves a lot of time. Stickers. Apply stickers. This guy's case we already... This is the... Man, 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 man. Case modding. So this is the guy's case that we painted at the beginning. Let's get sticking to begin customizing the PC. Click left, stickers. Left click to apply a sticker to the case. Why are they so big? Use control, mouse wheel to scale the sticker. Oh, we can zoom it out, okay. So let's go ahead and put one there. I figured it out, cause I'm smart. That's four. Let's go ahead and put sunglasses there. These are like the Apple emojis. And what's something else? This one. Just like that. <laughs> right on the forehead. That's cool though, being able to put case stickers. Uh, this one just needs that storage upgrade. Ah, it's the wrong bench. Build mode. We gotta go ahead, take this off. There's more workbenches in the back, so I think if we were to take a giant bulk load, it wouldn't be so bad. Where's the SSD? Is it down here, or is it just, just that? I forget to check. I did, I forgot to check the packaging. Uh, storage, get the new one. Install it in the back. Now plug it in. And I'm guessing we're gonna have to go into BIOS and set this to, as default boot device. Cause you can plug it in and it'll boot to operating system. But that don't mean any, that doesn't mean anything. 
Uh, he doesn't say he wants it swapped. I could... Mm. Part of me wants to swap that over to the boot. Ah. Unless it says that in the email. Place in the delivery workshop area. There we go. Wait, what? There's still jobs I haven't handed in. What? Oh, it's because I didn't accept them? Yeah, it's because I haven't hit collect. Just added the following parts to arrange. More RAM. The i7-7700. I remember when that first came out, the 7th Gen i7. That was my first computer build, was a 7th Gen. 